Good morning, and welcome to Holy Spirit Catholic Community. We are so glad that you are able to be here with us today. Our celebrant today is Father Henry, assisted by Deacon Scott. Daily Mass will be restored Tuesday through Fridays, beginning May 19th at noon. This new Mass will be still be live streamed for those who prefer to stay at home. Thank all of you, all to have responded so generously to the 2020 Idol Catholic Appeal. Each year the success of the appeal depends on you. You have once again done a wonderful thing. Your gifts have helped provide assistance to the members of our diocese and family. Today, our parish has received a pledge of $83,172, which is 90.91% of our goal, with 20.7% of our parish participating. Remember that we, will be, that we will receive back all funds collected over 100% of our goal. Your prayers and support that enable our diocesan ministries to achieve one of the things. If you have not yet made your gift, please do so today by completing a pledge and roll in the lobby and dropping it in the collection basket. You may also make the gifts online at www.catholicidaho.org. Today we pray for the people. Jesus, our brother and our guide, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, our way and our truth, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our life and our hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we believe in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. From Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed, one proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had, been not, it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. For your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ 
may themselves be, be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for, for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the righteous, righteousness, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh, and is brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are in the sixth Sunday of Easter. This is the sixth Sunday. And now we begin in our readings to pivot towards that feast which completes the Easter season, Pentecost. And so our readings begin to speak about the Spirit. Did you notice that the Spirit was mentioned in our first reading from Acts of the Apostles? It was mentioned, the Spirit, He was mentioned in our second reading from the first letter of Peter, and the Spirit was mentioned by Jesus in the Gospel of John today. We are moving towards Pentecost. And something really wonderful and significant um, is going to happen in our own community on the Feast of Pentecost. Just like in our first reading today, our elect, those who have been preparing to fully enter the church, will receive that spirit. They will receive the sacrament of confirmation. That's exactly what happened in our first reading today. The town of Samaria was evangelized by Philip. And then after they had received the word, what did it say? It said that after Philip had preached, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. And then Peter and John, the apostles, 
go to Samaria and they lay hands on those people who have received the word. That is exactly like our RCIA process, the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. So our elect who have been waiting, they have been waiting already for six weeks. They were supposed to receive confirmation at the Easter Vigil on the night before Easter Sunday. They've been waiting six weeks. It's been postponed. So this lockdown, this um, pandemic quarantine has been particularly hard on those who are in our formation classes. But finally, two weeks from now, how appropriate on the Feast of Pentecost, they will receive the Spirit. So all of us who are already baptized and who are already confirmed, that is, sealed with the Holy Spirit, we want to pray for our elect, and we want to pray for ourselves, that we continue to be like Philip, like Peter, and like John, able to share the Word of God. Listen to our psalm. The, the last verse of our psalm said, Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what He has done for me. That's what Philip did in Samaria. That converted all of those people. We have the Spirit, we need to be doing the same. And so please keep the elect in your prayers that they receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and pray for yourselves that you enact those very gifts that you received from the bishop or from your parish priest, the descendants of the apostles. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored in your life, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On the cross, Jesus surrendered his life to the Father for all men and women. Let us pray in confidence of, his, of this surrender. For those who are already baptized and confirmed, and for those who will be baptized and confirmed, that Christ's risen glory be our constant inspiration and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders and citizens of powerful countries, that their commitment to peace and justice inspire others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists, for health professionals, for public officials, all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that our parish, like Philip, may respond to the opportunity to reach beyond the boundaries of our church in love and service, converting the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and for everyone in this local church, for everyone here with us today and everyone at home, that we show forth God's love in word and deed 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, your Holy Spirit speaks for us. Grant what, grant what our advocate inspired us to ask. In the name of the risen Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts. You'll notice that there is no offertory. We just ask that uh, either as you come into church or as you depart, when you are sent out in the Spirit, that you drop your offering in the basket by the door. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God.
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, may possess therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace by making a simple bow to your neighbor. receiving Holy Communion in your places where you are at, the deacon and myself will go to you. We are going to do the spiritual prayer communion for those who are participating in this Mass in their homes or in a different place. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and lead spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of, the, of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. During the month of May, May, month dedicated to the Blessed Virgin, we say in the memorial a prayer of intercession, asking our Blessed Mother to help us in our needs. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that it never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession is left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. I'm glad to see all of you here. We have, for those who are watching and are feeling that it's time to come back to church, around 80 spaces that we can use in, in next Sunday or in the near future. It is good to be able to celebrate the Mass with the community and be community of believers. As Deacon Scott mentioned, you can put your donation as you go out. And then the Bishop's collection is called Idaho Catholic Appeal. It's going very well in our parish. We have reached around 91% even in the midst of this uh, turmoil. So if you feel that you are able to help, you can drop your envelope in a Sunday collection or in the mailbox of our office building. You just put a, a, your name and a notice and for the bishop so that we don't take it. <laughs> and, um, masses, Daily Masses will begin this coming Tuesday at noon here in this church, at noon. We are opening our church in stages as the governor has said. So we will begin Daily Masses next Tuesday at noon here. Those who don't feel coming to a bigger crowd, you on Sundays you can come to daily Mass and that will fulfill your need to be with the Lord. Confessions started yesterday at 3 o'clock in this church. It went well. Around 20 people came for confession, so, so the word, word went out well. So those who want to receive the sacrament, those who are listening and hearing me, you can Think about coming next Saturday at 3 o'clock. The two priests will be here in confessions. I will be here behind the altar. Father Bruno will be downstairs and we will be able to confess all those who come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. I'm catching up on that. Uh, go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Those are reserved for the first three Sundays of Easter, but we weren't here then, so I'm catching up on them now. <laughs>